Hey guys, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to root the Motorola Click. So if you're not already there, go to our website, TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that at the top, and search for our how to root the Motorola Click procedure. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download and install the drivers from Motorola. So if you have Windows 32-bit, click on the first link. If you have Windows 64-bit, click on the second one. Uh, download them and then install them. Okay, the next step is going to be to set up ADB. Um, so we have a procedure for that. It has its own video and everything. So just click on the link there uh, and it'll show you how to do that. Once you've done that procedure and you can see uh, your phone's serial number whenever you type in ADB devices, then you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, so now that you've got ADB set up on your computer uh, and it's able to see the Motorola Click, we're going to get a program called RSD Lite and we're going to use it to flash the phone. So, click on the link to download the RSD Lite. Okay, once you've downloaded, you're going to right click it and select Extract 2 and itself. And then scroll to where it is. And I know you probably can't read what I'm writing on the screen, but you can see it in the procedure itself underneath this video. Flash tools. Okay. And then ADB devices, just to make sure that our phone is listed. We have a serial number, so it's listed. And then we're going to type ADB remount. Enter. Remount succeeded. A D B shell H mode four seven five five slash system slash bin slash SEO. Enter. Okay, and then we're all done with that step. Okay, so once that's all done, we're gonna do the last step. Uh, which is fix super user so we can get root access in applications. So you're gonna to go to our site and download the superuser.zip. Save it to your computer. And then find it. 
and right click extract to super user. And here it is. And then we open it up. And we're gonna take all these files that are in here. Well, yeah. We'll take all these files that are in here, copy them, go to our C drive, to our SDK, tools, and paste them in here. Okay, so now that they're pasted in here, we're gonna double click the install file. You'll see it just says install, it might say install.bat, um, but either way it'll say Windows bash file to the right. So we're gonna double click that, and it should open a command prompt, and let it do its thing. Okay, and once we've done all that, you can download a application that uses root access. I'm gonna use terminal emulator and slide it open. And change the font size so you can see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, and then you should be able to just type SU and hit enter. And there you go. Um, it should actually, the first time you do this, pop up a warning for super user. Uh, saying do you want to always allow it, yes, no, etc. Just click always and then one of her pop up again and you'll get this. And that means you have root access. So enjoy.